Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you saw in my last video, I just finished what um reading, I almost said watching, um, of Bringer from the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. And I also told you that the fourth book is coming out November 17th. Well, in between those books, I wanted to read something. So, the Netflix movie Enola Holmes just came out. Love the movie. Millie Bobby Brown did so good. You guys should really check it out. Um, but there is a book series, Enola Holmes, by Nancy Springer. And I really want to read it. My friend had read it. She recommended it. And so, here is my review of Enola Holmes, The Case of the Missing Marquess by Nancy Springer. This book includes 216 pages, 15 chapters, and a cipher solution. This book is also kind of completely different than the movie. Most of the time you find in movies they cut parts from the books to make it shorter, but that is not the case. Um, for one, Enola Holmes is 14, not 16, but that part makes sense because Millie Bobby Brown can play a 16-year-old. She fits and looks the part, so that I did not mind. But then Enola Holmes does not dress up like a boy when she leaves. She specifically says in the book she would not do that because that is what her brothers would suspect. They would look for, on the newspaper for boys. So she dressed up as what they thought they would never see her as, a woman. So really nice dress so that's completely different she meet, she meets the marquess in a completely different scenario and the book ends differently it's all it's the same same kind of story i mean her mother goes missing she tries to find her she runs into the marquess but the scenarios and the journey is a little bit different so i don't really understand why um they could totally take this make make it a little bit longer if they needed to and the same situations for a movie, but they changed it, so I couldn't give you the exact answer why. But just a heads up, it's kind of, it really is completely different. Um, now, I do want to read you the back part about the book, just so you know what you're getting into. So here we go. Enola Holmes, teenage girl turned savvy detective. When Enola Holmes sister to the detective Sherlock Holmes, discovers her mother has disappeared. She quickly sets off to find her in London, but nothing can prepare her for what awaits. For when she arrives, she finds herself involved in the kidnapping of a young Marquess and must flee murderous villains and elude her shrewd older brothers, all while trying to piece together clues to her mother's disappearance. Amid all the chaos, can Enola Holmes find the Marquess and her mother? So this is a very adventure packed book. It is kind of short so if you are busy and you don't have a lot of time but you still want to read, it's a short read. It's a short book to read. Um, now my friend, she read it and she had some trouble with the English writing because some sentences may not make sense. You may have to read it a few times to understand the meaning because of the English writing. I did not have the same kind of trouble. It was pretty easy for me maybe because of reading this crazy long and intense book so I don't know but just prepare yourself if you uh, find yourself needing to reread some sentences it's totally it makes sense because of the English writing this is a six book um, series and uh, I, I cannot wait to read book two now I'm going to have to wait a little bit because I uh, want to read book four of the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson, so book two will have to wait. I'll pick it back up. Because of it being a short read, if I have to, I could easily reread it after I'm done with book four. That that would be no problem. Um, really, really love this book. One thing is, because I got it after the movie, there's this little logo right here. It says Netflix, a Netflix film. And there's a little um, quote by Millie Bobby Brown. So I'm going to read that to you. Empowered, capable, and smart. With an impactful message that you can do anything if you set your mind to. By Millie Bobby Brown. And then it says Stranger Things because um, she played Eleven in Stranger Things, which is another Netflix series. Also fun. Um, you might want to check that out. And Nancy Springer, which is the author of this book, did a really great job with the writing. Definitely, there were some crazy plot twists in this, 
Now, if you've seen the movie and you got to read this, definitely prepare yourself for it being different. Do not be expecting the same scenarios because I was and then there's this crazy plot twist that I never saw coming because of it never being in the movie. That's one thing that I have hard trouble with because hard trouble dealing with watching the movie than the books because most of the time there are scenes that are missing or a character is portrayed different, different clothing, different looks different so it's hard to go between the two so I, I like to read the books first then if there's a movie but because of not knowing, never heard of the series of Nola Holmes, I did not have that chance. So if you have not seen the movie, definitely read this first really helps you know the characters and inside their minds before you get to the movie and definitely a different spin because like I said it's different, different scenarios, different journeys so it's they're both very action-packed, both very adventurous, crazy scenes that really I really enjoyed. really makes you want to read the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth book of this series and Hopefully there'll be more Enola Holmes movies. Um, maybe they'll do a movie for every book. That would be really great. Like the Harry Potter ones where they did a movie for every book. That would be really fun. Um, even just like the second or third. Of course, I have not read the second or third book, so I don't know. I've only read the first one, which is really fun. <laughs> and definitely recommend quick read even... Um, I definitely say adults could read it. It's not like a specific kids book because um, there are some books where you know they're meant for a younger audience so they're a little harder to read because they're it's a younger it's written for younger kids so didn't find that at all hard um kind of because of the shortness thought it'd be a little bit like a younger writing easier like not as detailed but no trouble at all was really well well written and I think adults could read it if you were into uh, um, this kind of fiction this adventurous fiction so um yeah like I said totally recommend of course read the book before the movie really helps and I think that's my super quick <laughs> review of this book so I hope you guys are having a great day and keep reading and crafting. I will see you guys next week.